and these are the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. The Letter People, today, the Hall of Fame, a review. to the memory of great and sometimes silly events that have taken place right here in Letter People Land. At first, I took this job because I work alone. That gives me the chance to practice wearing all the clever disguises I need for my detective work. But I soon found out that the Letter People Hall of Fame is chock full of great stories. Looks like something is wrong over there. I'd better check. Oh no, it's Mr. X's display. I remember when he first arrived here in Letter People Land. It was one of my strangest cases. Boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy. Things were going all wrong. Mr. B's voice changed for no reason. My voice. Mr. H was. Then Mr. H turned up with a very weird hairdo. A pretty good idea, kid. And Ms. Yu's goat started to make strange noises. The only clue in the case was that when something went wrong, there was always an X attached to it. Fit, can you help Nardo? What's wrong with this nutty goat? Is it mad? Well, I'm not too happy about it. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Uh... I finally caught up with Mr. X in the forest. To my surprise, he turned out to be a good fellow. His only problem was that he had no sound. In a lot of people land, that means you're out of work. Even though we share our sounds with you, you have the honor of standing in the ending clue box. Oh, God. Luckily, Mr. K and Mr. S agreed to give Mr. X the squish sound they would make at the end of a word. Cooperation. So everyone will know that Miss O will make her short sound. And now, letter people, Make your sounds catch. Fox. Well, Mr. X was so happy to be included that he offered his letter as a warning sign for dangerous places like railroad crossings. And talk about not having a sound. No one could get a word out of Mr. Q. At least not until Ms. Yu agreed to always stand next to Mr. Q so that together they would make the same sound that starts quiet. Sure is quiet in here. I like quiet sometimes. In fact, it's one of the best things in the whole world. World? World. Hail hey, Silver! Away! There's nothing like a runaway word for getting rid of quiet. I remember the time Ms. O visited Professor Foghorn and his word machine. Ms. O found out that some words don't follow the rules. The letters in those words don't sound off as they should. That's why the word machine wouldn't let them pass through. The word machine likes to play by the rules. English. Demo. again. Those letters didn't sound off right. Oh. Two. Hail Silver! Away! But the words wanted to be words anyway. So they ran away. 
I guess people have to learn those words one at a time. And there sure are a lot of them. But they really are good runners. The runaway football team is undefeated. Well, look, someone left their lunch. No, it's a display. A pile of chewy cherries put here in the Hall of Fame to commemorate the new special sound that Mr. C and Mr. H make in words. C and H made the deal on the way to catch a very weird choo-choo train. Mr. H wouldn't squish, but he did agree to make a new kind of sound. A sound that was not a squish. Cuts are a no-no for Mr. H, and he didn't want to get cut on the jagged edges of the squish box. You were saying? Well, why don't we team up to make the same sound that starts Chewy Cherry? Chewy Cherry. Chewy Cherry, that is a new sound, Mr. C. I'll do it. <laughs> if we get into a regular clue box. No squish boxes for me. Deal? Deal. Chewy Cherry. Chewy Cherry. Chewy Cherry. Chewy oh, Cherry. Oh, boy. Chewy Cherry. Why don't you go back to chomping, C? Now you sound like an old choo-choo. What time is it? The train leaves in five minutes. Oh, no, we must be at least a mile away from the station. We can make it if we run. Oh. Up, 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 we better hustle. Mr. C and Mr. H missed a train, all right, but so did the engineer, Charlie McChew. At least C and H got a chance to practice their new sound while trying to catch up with the train. What is it, Charlie? Chocolate. Yeah, the chewy cherry choo-choo must have passed this very spot not long ago. Chocolate starts with our new sound, Mr. H. Chocolate, chewy cherry. <laughs> Mr. C and Mr. H could have used some chocolate for energy. They were pretty tuckered out when they finally caught up with the train, but Charlie cheered them up with a song about their new sound once the chewy cherry choo-choo got underway. If you put the hand car on me, we'll be ready to go, Charlie. Okay, choo-choo. All aboard! Uh, let's not tell anybody about this. They'll think we're cracked. Uh -huh. Brought you some chewy cherries and some chocolate cheese, choo-choo. My name is Charlie McChew. I've got chalk on my hands. I brought the chewy cherry choo-choo. People land. But when I'm passing through, I just yell choo choo choo. And all the people in the land, well, they give me a hand. The deal Mr. H made with Mr. C led to some more deals that would put Mr. H in a regular clue box with another consonant. There's the thing. Mr. T and Mr. H can team up to make two different sounds. The sound that starts the and the sound that starts thing. The sound that starts the rumbles through your teeth. And the sound that starts thing is like a light breath of air. <laughs> Mr. T and Ms. U found the Things Theater trunk and learned about the two sounds theater trunk. This place is not my idea of a good time. These are all the things the thing uses in his act. You're right. There's the word that. The sound that starts that is the same sound that starts the word the. That, the. Oh, Mr. T, this is thrilling. And there's the thing's pet moth. The sound that ends the word moth is the same sound that begins the word thing. Moth, thing. At first, everyone was afraid of the thing. But it turned out to be a real swell person. 
Why, the thing sang a nice song for everyone that told about the two new sounds. Mm, I'm the thing. I'm the real thing. I can dance. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. Well, everyone loved the song, and Mr. T and Mr. H had two new ways to be in words. But Mr. H wasn't through yet. There were still some more deals to be made. That's why this whistle has a place of honor. Mr. W bet Mr. H that he could fool H with a magic trick. Mr. W was able to blow H's whistle without using his hands. Mr. H rewarded W with a new sound they would make together. Wiggle, waggle, whoa, whoa, dink. Let the whistle come to me, wonderful wink. <laughs> oh, no, he did it. He did. Astounding, Mr. W. How did you... <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> now, let's decide what sound we'll make together. Anything but a squish. I know. Mr. C told me all about you and squish boxes. Hey, how about the sound that starts whistle? That's a wonderful sound. Whistle. The sound that starts whistle is not a squish, so we can get into a regular clue box. Ooh, 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 and I can use it in my magic act. The sound that starts whistle is the same sound that starts wheel. Yeah, whistle, wheel, I hear it. Unfortunately, the deal that W and H made was a noisy one. They woke Mr. S from his nap. Mr. S was interested in a sound, too. One that wasn't as noisy. A new quiet sound. Well... As long as it's not a squish. Shh. Huh? Shh. What? I wasn't talking loud. Shh. Oh, I see. We'll make the shh sound together. A nice, quiet sound. The same sound that starts shark. Shh. Shark. Shh. Shark. I hear it. What a nice, quiet sound. Mr. S and Mr. H went on to use that new quiet sound that same day on the catching game. They started the word shed and got into a regular starting clue box. Captain Zemo won a nice prize, but fell asleep before they told him what it was. Yes, the letter people call of fame. It sure brings on some golden blasts from the past. There are 119 stories to be told in Letter People Land. Who knows? Maybe more. Someday, these empty displays will be filled with more stories.